making their way this way. Stay cool, guys. Feeding time. Yo, welcome to feeding time. The big guy right back here. And today, guys, we got a serious one. I saw Carl's Jr. has a new, the Impossible Burger, the spicy Western barbecue Impossible Burger. And I said, you know what? I want to do a mukbang. I want to do the spicy Western Impossible Burger versus the regular spicy Western burger and I want to see what's better oh I just did an hour and 20 minutes of cardio fluff and jacked see how long I go without cussing on this one I'm uh my stem cell procedure was Wednesday today's I'm Friday we're recording this on a Friday and uh I'm in still a, a good amount of pain and uh like it's really hard to bend over. Like you should see, I I am I have to Houdini, like putting on my boxers and my shorts and my my workout pants. And I wear multiple layers of clothing. I always have. Ever since I hurt my leg, I started wearing multiple layers of clothing. I don't wear shorts. I wear I like to wear I own shorts, but I don't wear shorts out anymore. And I think it's because of the scar on my leg. I uh, I stopped wearing because I don't want people talking to me about it when I broke my ankle. I'm pretty sure that fluffed me up pretty badly mentally and I've just hidden it in my subconscious and I wear pants and I'm fine. Everything's good. But like if you ever see me wrestle, you'll see that I have a huge scar down my leg. But chicks dig it. I probably, maybe not a bad idea to start wearing shorts. Uh, I don't know. I have huge legs too. Not to like put myself over, but my legs are massive. I have, I have brontosaurus calves. Like I'm just, I don't even have to train legs and I just have big legs. It's just the way it's been, but you know, I'm big all over. Um, we're gonna dive in. I, this has to be, both had stickers on it. This it has, no, this has bacon. There's no way they would make, put, they wouldn't be that dumb, would they? We'll go with the regular one first, guys. Bacon, jalapenos, melted cheese, barbecue sauce. Take a look. The whole shebang, it looks like a little mayo. Mm. God, I love food. I love food so much. It makes me so happy. almost meditate. I'm meditating and eating. When I shut my eyes, I'm in a place of pure euphoric bliss. Not a worry in the world. Second only behind when I'm going for either procedures for my stem cells or before you have surgery when they give you the drugs. That's number one. That's the most euphoric state of, of bliss that, that I could personally ever be in. But this is number two. Mm. Fuck. Fuck, I got damn it. Well, there's a group of kids. This is an empty parking lot. They look like thugs. Seven, eight years old, maybe nine. Skateboarders. I wonder if they were part of the riots. There's four of them. 
I could take them. I could take them. No doubt. They're making their way this way. Stay cool, guys. They're making their way over. Little do they know the big guy Ryback's in here doing a food review. Oh God, they're getting close. I'll beat their asses while I'm eating this, guys. If they they fuck with me. They seem to be going. They probably saw the license plate and realized who it was. I used to skateboard back in the day. I was a Joe Cool kind of guy. Either you get it or you don't. If you don't, you can suck it. I tell you, this is good. The other one, the impossible one, doesn't have the bacon. So you can understand why. Three thousand people watching this right now just said, "I don't understand why." It's okay, Jeffries and Karens. It's okay. Stiff. Oh. Woo! One and done. Now, guys, part two of the mukbang. The impossible spicy western. Did they give me the right? Yeah, they did. They should have been. Yeah, it says it. Spicy Western barbecue burger. Wait a second. This should have an onion ring, shouldn't it? There's nothing spicy about this. It is an impossible burger, but it's just a regular impossible burger. You bitch! I've cost again. I was very clear on my order. I didn't get the burger that I wanted. So good though, I'm not mad. Kind of does screw up my food review though. Because now I can't advertise it as a head versus head. This is just the impossible. It's just a Carl's Jr. mukbang now. That's not going to do us good. She ruined my YouTube video. I'm not going to let her ruin my day, though. She's lucky this is so damn good. The other burger was brand new, though. They also had the improved possible burger there, too. wearing my beast shirt again this week my favorite shirt 
just makes me look the best. Fits perfect, like a glove. Represents a hero. Good shirt. Collar and elbow, I love their shirts. I bought a bunch of them. I'm happy Al Snow just created a really cool business. Like literally the shirt, I'm not, no bullshit. I'm so picky on my shirts. I like them to cover like my arms. I don't like them to like come down just partial way. I like them to, it covers me. I don't like people, it covers my big bodybuilder jack, big strong jacked body. And they're really good material. I hope they get some more designs. I'm going to buy all of them. Support the business, though. Color and elbow. Lock up. Done. <coughs> this is what it's going to be like when I'm 70 doing these food videos. Feeding time. Hey, welcome to feeding time. I'm the big guy. Right back. <sighs> Today I'm trying Pedialyte. Hopefully I'm a little bit older talking like that. Um, well, this kind of threw a little wrench and everything, not getting the right burger, guys. Um, I did get the spicy Western cheeseburger. That was the new burger. I just wanted it in both versions, the Impossible and that and instead i think they gave me the famous star impossible burger so but i will say that and i've had that and i've reviewed that before so that's out of the picture excuse me the new spicy western cheeseburger from uh carl's jr i'm giving that giving it 4.5 stars not bad at all not bad at all and uh, it was a good, the Carl's Jr. has good burgers. Good taste. That was a little bit on the burger, was a little drier. I've had them where they're not like that. I think, again, it's just, it, it could have just been cooked a little too long. And, um, but it was still really good. I'm not, like I said, it, but it, that probably, if it would have been a little juicier, that would have been closer to a five star burger. Um, so. Thumbs up right, right there. And that's about it, guys. That's about it. Not much else. I got to go do some work. I got to run to Walgreens and uh, try to walk the dogs tonight. I haven't been able to walk them for two nights because I've been being a little bitch. My back, legit though, it's been tough. I had to carry Sophie down the stairs yesterday morning and I had to set, like, it, I, it was, I, I, like, I did not want to drop her. I can't drop her. And, um, my back though was so bad I got down to the halfway point and I couldn't take it my back I had I had to literally as I was going down set her down and fall on my side and wait for the pain to subside because the pain medicine that they gave me for the procedure wore off and the epidural oh it jacks you up your tailbone area and uh I took some Tylenol yesterday and it calmed down a bit but it, it's tight it'll stay tight for a few days that's what she said. Uh, anyways, but Sophie, had, she won't go down the stairs because she's conditioned not to go up or down them for years now because of her back. So she's just staring, looking at me. I got down to the bottom of the stairs. I was like, come on, baby. She wanted, she like put her paws down to come down. And she's just looking at me. And she know, like, I go, no, no, come. She wouldn't come. So I had to go back up and like put one foot on lower stairs and go to my knee on another and pick her up and then like kind of get up. I, could, I couldn't bend over and uh, we got her downstairs. So, and uh, now everything is much better where I can pick her up and up and down the stairs a little better today. So not a problem with that. But thank you guys for watching. As always, please check out my new Ryback TV for the podcast, all podcast content on Ryback TV. Please subscribe. These videos should start showing up in the home pages uh, and getting more views as we just kind of stick to the food content moving forward. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. And Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com. All new customers 
first time buyers, I give you 25% off with the discount code SAVE25 on all my Feed Me More Nutrition supplement line. No artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors. Sweetened with stevia and monk fruit and more ingredients because I want you to be more. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.